Today, the moon is going to be moving through Aries. So with the moon moving through Aries, the ram, the energy that we're going to be all collectively dealing with is the type of energy that wants to liberate ourselves and others. The ram itself likes to be free. It's a sign that works on impulse, and it's a sign that seeks freedom for not just themselves, but for the people around them. We're now going to be finding it hard as the moon passes through this sign over the next couple of days to deal with the isolation that we feel and the alone, the aloneness that we feel. Now as the moon continues its track all the way into and through Aries this morning. One thing that we're going to be having to understand is that even though each of us wants to liberate um, ourselves and others in our own way, we have to remember that we all don't desire to liberate others the exact way that they may want to be liberated. Meaning that it depends on how we ourselves feel in relation to how the moon in Aries touches our own personal birth charts. So personally, if you have planets in Aries, as this chart indicates, Chiron, Mercury, and the Sun will all be planets that get touched fairly soon, the sun just entering Taurus yesterday, then you would feel the moon's influence on these planets. Now depending what house, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, you may want to liberate others in the manner of the house. If you have sixth house placements of planets that the moon touches, then what would happen is you would seek to liberate yourself and others in the workplace because the sixth house represents our attitude towards work. This could mean that you really want to get everybody back out of their house and back into work where they can begin to do the things that you value. Or it could mean that you have the desire to get everybody out of work at this time and get them back into their houses where they can be safe. So you can see how just because you want to liberate people does not necessarily mean that you want to liberate people from the same thing that they may need liberating from. Some people may have a desire to go back to work. Some people may have a desire to get out of work and go home. It all just depends. Really, as we're dealing with this Aryan energy, it's more just about following your impulse. It's about using your head to figure out exactly how you should overcome the obstacles in your way. But by using your head, I mean following the ideas, following the impulses that you get. The ideas, the sort of intuitive feeling that you get is exactly what we're looking for. Because that will tell you exactly how you should be seeking to free other people and yourself at this time. Now at exactly 6.16 in the morning, the moon, at one degree Aries, will be in harmonious relationship, sextile, to Saturn at one degrees Aquarius. Most of us will be sleeping at the time that this occurs. But the truth is, is that when Saturn is involved, we can get help and advice through this harmonious relationship that Saturn makes to the moon. And the reason that we can get help and advice through our dreams is because most of us will be sleeping at this time. 
so we should pay attention, especially if we sleep till 8 o'clock in the morning, to these prime hours of sleep when we're getting messages through the images in our dreams. They may spark the very Aryan ideas that liberate you from some of the more oppressive features of your life. Depending once again on how that actual energy connects with your own personal birth chart. Saturn grounds the dream energy of the moon. It grounds the psychic and unconscious energy, the watery, emotional energy of the moon, and allows the moon to communicate its unconscious messages to us in a clear way that we can understand. So we actually may remember our dreams better as long as our birth chart cooperates with the aspects in the sky. So as we begin to experience this Moon and Aries energy over the next two, two and a half days or so, really keep in mind that the goal for you at this time is to figure out what ideas that you have, figure out how you, need to, you want to liberate yourself. You may have these urges, you may feel this stress surrounding being locked in your house or locked and trapped at work or stuck in a cycle, but Aries is here to try to help you liberate, to get out of, by following your impulses, by allowing others to help support your ideas um, and support your impulses at this time, by trusting your gut as long as that's appropriate for you.